As we think about the 50th anniversary at the University of California, Irvine, you have been such an important part of that, both for your academic instruction, for the clinical work you've provided, the administration, and most importantly, I think the impact that you've also had on students. You came for the adventure and you stayed to make history. Mm. And I think what Jim just said really points to how many of us felt who were here either as students or administrators in the early days. I mean, we call them the good old days for a reason. I was here when they dedicated the park to my father. And that was also a very special moment in the history of the campus. There's no doubt that Dan and Gene Eldridge have left an extraordinary, lasting imprint on the overall value and, and direction of this campus that lives to this day. He made sure you had what you needed to do to get it done. And I think that's what the initial professors and the deans that came here, they got. The whole point in that situation for me was to get the system moving in some new direction. It was a, a young university with lots of problems and lots of opportunities. And it was a terrific place for anyone who had an interest in building, because that's what we were doing. We were creating, we were building buildings, we were hiring people, we were forming research institutes, all kinds of exciting things. You know, the, uh, the university uh, seems to have really legitimized the city from a very early day, right? It was a very, very significant thing because it provided the university with a presence here early on. I think the diversity among the students has really grown. And of course, the physical look of the campus. I mean, the landscaping is beautiful. Our selling point has always been that we're a major university, but with a small town feel. But the whole campus now, I think, has achieved a level of prominence. We are genuinely a uh, a collective that's much stronger than any one of its parts. UCI, you complete me. I mean, I think it really made me the rest of who I was supposed to be. The campus was named after the Irvine Ranch. So even while the university was being built, the ranch was existing, but it was dwindling. And on one day, the last cowboy appeared, and that signaled the final transition from the ranch to the university.